uh, we have one of the largest machines in Europe called, an, it's an emulator, it's a rack of FPGAs where we can drop into this rack of PGAs uh, or FPGAs an image of the chip. And this chip will work at something like, let's say 500 kilohertz instead of 3 gigahertz. But at 500 kilohertz, you can start, it can start the software. So the Linux kernel will boot in a couple hours. Just three start, hours in our cases. And starting to simulate and see how, how everything is working here. So that you, you will have a, you will have a shell with a, you can have a hello world. You will see that the kernel will boot and will not end in, in kernel panic. It's a good sign. So it means that plenty of gates in the chip has already, over, already been, uh, been used. You can start to have communication over PCI. Uh, but now the drawback is that in emulation, it takes time. But it's reasonable, so you can wait wait a couple hours, or if you send uh, uh, a batch on Friday, on Monday morning, you have the result of the, uh, the emulation. And with this, you limit the risk, because you can, you can fix them during the design phase, and not after the production. Because if you, if you fix hardware bugs after the production, it's complex, because it's a new spin, and lots of uh, expenses to, uh, to do. But basically, if you find a bug, you will need to fix the bug, then relaunch the simulation, which means like lowest uh, cost of minimum bug in the design will be one or two weeks fix just to get the simulation result. Uh, we have some so-called run which can take a couple weeks, but anyway, compared to an issue in production, it's nothing. And yeah, just, we, just to understand the feedback loop, because basically if you are a developer, you just like write a web page, hit refresh on the, on the, on the browser and you have your feedback loop. Um, but there, the feedback loop of something, it's about one or two weeks m minimum time. It can be bigger for a, a bug uh, untangling with uh, memory and stuff. So that will that will uh, uh, creating a long time to debug the stuff, which is elongates the time from an industrial point of view. And for sure, it's way more expensive, way less expensive than producing the stuff, putting the, the chip and say, oh, it doesn't, oh, oops, <laughs> oops.